Cooking is a life skill. For me, it's fundamentally important. It's just as crucial as keeping fit because Latin, history, geography, no disrespect, but if you're not going to teach that for the rest of your life, it doesn't come into play. Cooking does. Three times a day, seven days a week for the rest of your life, you need to eat. So we don't cook three meals a day, but there's one meal across that day that needs to be absolutely you, you know, on a plate, done properly, healthily cooked, and sets you up, because you are what you eat. So we can never underestimate the importance of food, because that's the fuel, and especially in sports. This is my little niçoise, but a specialised niçoise. And it's the kind of thing that I pick myself up after cycling 200k. A beautiful piece of tuna. Just gonna brush that first, a little bit of mustard. Stops it from drying out. Now, sesame seeds. Just beautifully roll that down. I always think about food everywhere I go. So when I'm training, you know, I'm never very far away from food. I had that extraordinary moment at the start of Kona two years ago where I was um, paddling at sort of half past five in the morning, waiting for that amazing cannon to go off. To get rid of the nerves, I just started thinking about recipes and dishes and how do I get through this 3.8K swim. The garnish, very, very simple. We've got potatoes. I'm going to start with a little teaspoon of olive oil. I'm going to get these potatoes nice and crispy. Cut them in half and put that side down. So, in my bowl, got some really nice um, shallot rings. Olive niçoise, black olives. Some green beans. And then in there, I'm just going to open up some of these little anchovies. A little touch of vinaigrette. This is a classic vinaigrette made with lots of lemon juice. And then look, just mix that up nicely with some fresh parsley, your tomatoes, balsamic vinegar. Fresh lemon juice in, that lifts everything. You work 14, 15 hours a day to perfect an absolute stunning dish. It disappears in two and a half minutes. And that's what I said, it loses you. You, you get on that journey and nothing else matters except what you put on the plate. Because you start off with this raw ingredient and you go through that journey. 60 minutes later, you've got this, this bit of magic. Also, it's an incredible passion. It is a huge canvas. Just take your salad leaves. I want to use the little hearts. And just open them up gently without sort of ripping them. Get down to the heart and cut the hearts into four. Potatoes. Nice and crispy. And then from there, as they start to cool down, just put a little touch of vinaigrette over there and hit them with your parsley. Food was my calling, I think, because that was the way I could sort of disappear. Disappear, travel, learn, and get really excited about something. And my first dream was to go to France, to understand why were they the sort of foundation of cooking? Why did they start it? How did they start it? And I, I disappeared. I became French, and within 18 months, I was fluent in the language, I was holding my own in a foreign kitchen, and uh, I, I was seriously cooking my ass off. Now for the dressing. Very, very simple. Touch of the vinaigrette, and then some fresh lemon juice. That gives a nice lightness, vibrancy to the dish as well. I just lightly dress them. My first set of knives was bought uh, by a charity because my parents couldn't afford to send me to cooking school. And this knife wallet was a swimbo, is with bright yellow handles, and trust me, they couldn't cut butter, but they looked the part. My mum had a tear in her eye because she was upset she couldn't afford it. My first set of whites and my first set of knives, I've still got them. Finally, the tuna. Get the pan nice and hot, put a teaspoon of oil in there. Tuna into the pan. 90 seconds each side. Out and literally squeeze some fresh lemon juice on there. When you slice it, let the knife do the work. Fingers on top and just slice through, nice and carefully. On. Three nice slices. Food, you're on a journey. And there's something quite amazing about the way you cook of giving pleasure. My dream when I started out as a chef was to discover every ingredient and never be intimidated and not know what to do with it to that level of perfection. I think I'm about 97% of the way there. There must be about three or 4% of ingredients that I still haven't discovered yet. And that's the exciting thing about food. Well, that is what I call my specialized tuna niçoise. Fucking delicious. <laughs>